G'day, in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using factor trees to work out the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of two numbers. The lowest common multiple is the lowest number that these guys will go into and the highest common factor is the highest common number that goes into them. So let's have an example here. What about we look at the numbers uh, 36 and 84? So first off, we're going to work out the, uh, the factor trees of these. So let's do these. Um, okay, so... The way that we do these is as follows. Uh, we're looking for numbers that go into both of these. Uh, so 36, six times six is equal to 36. You could also do 12 times three, but you choose whichever one. We're gonna end up with the same answer in the end. And now, these are both composite numbers, so we can take these even further. Uh, the numbers that go into six are three and two, and three and two. So now what we've hit is the stage where all these numbers here are prime. We can't take them down any further, so let's go across to the 84 here. So 84, what numbers go into that? Now look, you can see very easily that four goes into it because four goes into both eight and four here and it goes in 21 times. Both of these numbers are composite numbers. We can take them further. 21, the numbers three and seven go into it. Four, the numbers two and two go into it. But now what we've hit is a stage where all these numbers also are prime and we can use these to work out our highest common factor and lowest common multiple. So first off, I'm gonna work out the highest common factor and I'll show you how to do this. So the highest common factor, this is the highest common number that goes into both of these numbers. And the way that we do this is as follows. Let's look for where we have overlap here. What do I mean by this similar numbers? Um, so there's a three here and a three here. There is a two here and a two here uh, the seven's not, there's no seven in both, but there is a two here and a two here. And this is how we can work out the highest common factor. We just multiply these numbers. We go three times two times two. We don't have to do it that many times, just for, just once. Okay, so three times two is six times two is 12. So the highest common number that goes into both of these numbers is 12. Okay, what about now we work out the lowest common multiple, okay? That is the number the lowest number that both of these numbers go into. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? Well, we're gonna use these three, this two, this two, as part of our uh, what we're gonna be doing. So three times two times two, and we're gonna multiply them by what's left after we've done this particular stage here. So after we've done this here, we have a three and a seven left. And we're just gonna multiply it by these, times three times seven. So what do we have? Three times two times two is 12, times three, is 36 times seven is going to be 252. So the lowest number that both 84 and 36 go into is 252. And it's not too bad, right? What about we do one more example? Okay, what about we work out the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of, uh, what about we do 270 and we do 900, okay? Big numbers, but pretty easy, right? So two numbers that go into 270, uh, you could look at it and say, okay, we could go, say, 30 and nine, because three nines are 27 with a 10 there. You could also do uh, three and 90, but like I said, the answers will all be the same in the end. Okay, so these are both composite numbers here, uh, 10 and three, this can break up into. This here is the dead end, this is a prime number, but 10 can be broken up into five and two. Uh, nine here, three and three. And so we've hit this stage, these are all prime now. Let's do the same for 900. We have 30 by 30. These can be broken up into 10 and three, 10 and three, and the 10 can be broken down further because it's a composite number and it can go into five and two. It has the factors of five and two. So, all right, awesome. We can go through now and work out our uh, highest common factor and our lowest common multiple. So our highest common factor, remember what we did for this? We're gonna look for numbers that are in common here. So five and five. We have a two and a two. Uh, we have a three here and a three here. Uh, we have a three and a three that's left, so we have this three over here. Okay, so we're gonna go five times two times three times three. Five times two is 10, times three is 30, times three, we have the answer of 90. What about the last little part here where we're gonna work out the lowest 
common multiple. So we're going to get this 90 here. We know it's going to be the same. And we're just going to multiply by what's left times 3, times 5, times 2, times 3, times 5, times 2. 90 times 3 is 270 times 5 times 2, 5 times 2 is 10. So 270 times 10 is 2,700. And so that's the uh, smallest number that both of these, the lowest number that both of these numbers go into. So that's not too bad, right? It's pretty easy. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.